Hello! I have just finished a really really good book and it only took me I think around about a day um, to read it. I did listen to it on audiobook but I do have a physical copy um, just because um, Andrew actually um, recommended this to me because he read it first and he has his own hardcover copy that he found second hand and then he found a paperback copy uh, second hand as well for me to read because he thought that the font and the spacing of the font would be um, an easy read for me um, but then I noticed that it was like written in diary entry and so I figured this might be really good as an audio so I picked it up on audio Andrew and I listened to it together basically um, so I read it once he's read it twice and it's a really really good book and I want to tell you about it so first up let me tell you what this book is about Dark Matter by Michelle Paver is um, as it says on the little subheading a ghost story this is a book set in the 1930s I think it was set in 1937 and we follow this 28 year old man named Jack who lives in London he's really poor he's really lonely he doesn't really have any family and he feels a little bit purposeless and stuck in his life um, this opportunity comes to him where he is offered to go on an arctic expedition with a group of other men so obviously when you go to do these um to do these expeditions you need uh, like a person to complete each role and his role is to um, be the communications person so he's the one that works the wireless and things like that they're really excited they're preparing for this um this expedition he's also thinking that you know this is a, a great opportunity for me i don't like my job the job i'm in right now uh, i feel like i need to be doing something more and it's just very exciting also the money like he he wants money as well so he's very excited they get there um to this arctic bay area um so it's like this um, no man's land where there's nothing there and they're about to do their expedition there and um, when they get there it's towards the end of summer so you still get that um, midnight sun where the sun is just like always up um, but as the book goes on obviously it goes into autumn and then it goes into winter so it does get darker and darker as you read on and um, he as the seasons pass and as the days go go by he starts to feel this eerie presence um with him um and this book is sort of written in diary entries as i mentioned so it's basically about that i don't want to say any more because i don't know how much i should say because to be honest with you i went into this not knowing that much andrew just said that it was a really good ghost story um, and it's really eerie um, and that's all I knew about it I think he told me bits and pieces while he was reading it but I honestly couldn't remember so let me just start off with the strength I think one of the major strengths of this book is definitely the atmospheric writing style as I mentioned a lot of the horror books that I've read in the past are all very action-packed so there's a lot of things that happen but I don't get that like terrifying feeling. This is definitely the opposite. I wouldn't say it's slow because things still do happen. There's still always something happening in the story because it's a person writing down his daily sort of thoughts in his diary. But the, the way the horror creeps up on you is a little bit more eerie and atmospheric and I feel like that is solely Michelle Paver's writing style she's really good at um, giving you the scenes and the atmosphere and giving you enough to visualize the things that are going on around the characters but also leaving things slightly out 
for your own imagination I don't really know how to explain that but it's just it's really tasteful it's really carefully crafted I, f I feel like this writing style is really I think it would be really hard to do to be honest like I don't know how because because she's writing it in first person from the perspective of Jack we sort of experience everything he's experiencing so we don't we only know what he can physically see and feel but we but there is still that something that he can't quite put his finger on and that's the eeriness that you feel that you can sort of put your own imagination into which is really really cool the other strength i would say is also to do with the writing and that is um the character of jack we spend a lot of time in his head obviously because it is like i said his diary entries and what's interesting about michelle paver's writing style in this is that she's able to sort of create a full three-dimensional complex character off of him because i feel like reading through his diary entries you see the way he interacts with the other characters in the story and you see how that's different to what he's actually thinking which is what he's noting down in his diaries but also there's like a third layer that he does not want to mention in the diaries and that is the unease that he feels and he never really wants to talk about it because he doesn't want to kind of make it real so you you get like three sides of this character which i i don't see a lot of people do i think the only other author that i think is able to do that well is probably like neil gaiman i know i compare a lot to neil gaiman but i just find neil gaiman to be a really good writer so um that's where my bar is at and I, I i don't know i don't know how to explain it but you can it's almost like you can you can you can as you read on you you see how jack interacts with the other people you see how it's different to what he's actually thinking in his mind and from that there is sort of a third layer that you can sort of psychoanalyze or something about him as a character he's really really complex and i didn't think that i would be getting that from like a ghost story because a lot of ghost stories that i've read are very like to do with the plot but this is definitely like a really interesting character driven ghost story which is probably why i really like it because um as you all know i i love character stories um when it comes to the weakness i keep i I was writing, you know, um, my thoughts on this book last night to do this review and I really can't think of any weakness. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars and yeah, as I said, it's really rare for me because I don't know, I don't know, I, I just think she executed this story really well and I really want more people to read it because I, I really, really enjoyed it. I think she has another book called thin air that andrew also has and that's people say that that's very similar but it's set in the himalayans um which is kind of cool like i would read i i would still read that even though people say that it's very similar i would still read it because she's really good with the atmosphere and then she has another book that is i think it sounds more like a haunted house story set in england um which i also want to read so i'm gonna definitely read more from this author i highly 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 recommend if you're looking for a scary story that's also pretty short if you want to uh listen to the audiobook i also recommend that andrew read it and he liked reading it i am a really big audiobook fan um, and I really liked it on audio um, because it's written in first person because it's written in diary entries I think it lends itself well to an audiobook and the narrator was really good as well and I think it's only like a five hour audiobook um, so yeah I highly recommend because there are some like sounds and some atmospheric sort of 
ambient noise that comes in the audiobook as well which I think is really cool for the vibes of the Arctic um, so yeah I hope I've convinced you I really 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 want everyone to read this because it's so 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 good um, yeah anyway uh, let me know your thoughts down below if you've read it and um, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time <laughs>